service marketing services marketing refers to the marketing of services as against tangible products in this course we will cover introduction to service marketing classification of service marketing seven p's of service marketing evolution of service marketing characteristics of service marketing advantages and disadvantages of service marketing importance of service marketing service marketing trends introduction to service marketing services are inherently tangible and are consumed simultaneously at the time of their production it cannot be stored save or resold once they have been used and service offerings are unique and cannot be exactly repeated even by the same service provider marketing of services is a relatively new phenomenon in the domain of marketing having gained an importance as a discipline only towards the end of the 20th century Services marketing first came to the fore in the 1980s when the debate started on whether marketing of services was significantly different from that of products so as to be classified as a separate discipline. The developed economies are primarily service economies in the sense that the service sector generates bulk of the employment and income. The contribution of services to GDP and employment is substantially high in particular the developed countries. services include a wide range of varying from education transportation hospitality finance real estate accounting banking insurance taxation consultancy healthcare etc classification of service marketing services span many areas in the present context every day a new service is being introduced though it is difficult to classify all the services the following classifications have been accepted number 1 on the basis of end user consumer services these are directly provided to end users like hairdressing laundry package holiday counseling etc business to business service these are provided to businesses like consultancy marketing research advertising etc number 2 on the basis of tangibility tangible services these are services which are connected to the period to which the products are purchased from the seller like televisions laptops cars watches etc intangible services these are the services which do not provide customers with any tangible products example consultancy services at a spa and massage centers number 3 on the basis of specialization professional services these are services which can be provided only by sufficiently qualified and experienced persons some of such service providers also have recognition by required authorities non professional services These are services which can be provided even by persons not possessing any educational or professional qualifications. Number 4 on the basis of profit orientation. Commercial services. These are the services offered on business lines with an intention of earning profit. For example, private banking, beauty parlors, etc. Social services. These are the services offered on philanthropic lines without any intention of earning profit. Number 5 on the basis of labor intensiveness. People based services. These are services which involve human labor of a high degree. These services are actually provided by these human beings. Equipment based services. These are services where certain equipments play a dominant role. The role played by laborers is either minimal or totally absent. Number 6. On the basis of contact and interaction between the service provider and the service consumer. High contact services. These are the services where the contact or the interaction between the service provider and the service consumer is very high the service cannot be provided in the absence of such contact or interaction low contact services these are the services where the contact or the interaction between the service provider and the service consumer is very low the service can be provided even without such a contact or interaction seven p's of service marketing the seven p framework is one of the most popular framework for deciding a marketing strategy right from strategy formulation to actual implementation number 1 product product is a core offering which in this case is a information service which may be a blog or consulting service this is the product that will fulfill the needs of your potential customers and needs to be defined really well in terms of the core attributes and also in terms of extended attributes number 2 price price has a lot of impact on the service by satisfaction level often paying a higher price for information services makes a customer more satisfied it is important to note that the information services being all the more intangible price is often considered a proxy for quality and vice versa 
and quality is a key determinant of acceptance of any information service. Number three, place. Place often offers a relatively lower value or utility to the customer of information services. However, for consulting services, consultants may need to provide a physical evidence by visiting the customer's place. Number four, promotion. Promotion plays a key role in the perception of the possible target audience may have about your service. There has to be a fit between the promotion and the positioning. Promotion leads to service or brand recognition and further establishes a proxy to evaluate the quality of services based by potential customers. Number five, people. People are crucial in service delivery when the offering is intangible. Since the actual service provider is often not visible, creating artifacts through photos of the experts creates the element of trust. Number six, processes. Processes are important to deliver a quality service. Information services being intangible, processes become all the more crucial to ensure standards are met with. Process mapping ensures that your service is perceived as being dependable by your target segment. Number seven, physical evidence. Physical evidence majorly affects the customer satisfaction, but in case of information services, it plays a dicey role. Since information services are intangible, customers depend on other cues to judge the quality of the offering. Evolution of services Adam Smith, a well-known economist of the late 18th century, has defined the important concept of value generation. In his original theory, he proposed the following schematics, production, tangible output, value generation. He proposed that the production of goods leads to tangible output. This output of the finished product is consumed by the users. Consumption leads to value generation as the customer's overt or latent needs are satisfied. It is indeed difficult to convey the concepts of value generation when no tangible ownership of a product seems to have been transferred. Today, the services sector is recognized as a crucial field for economic well-being. Consumption of services is deemed essential today. For example, consumption of services such as education, health, care, civic services, transport and communication, tourism, entertainment and sports are considered vital. Event management and media services involving important sports and cultural events keep billions of people spend bound, generate huge revenues and add dramatically to the economic growth of the countries and states hosting such events. Thus, the consumer focus has shifted largely from more and more consumption of physical goods to greater consumption of services. Characteristics of Service Marketing the characteristics of services differentiate the services from the tangible goods. The following are the characteristics of services. Number one, intangibility. Services are intangible and therefore cannot be touched, handled, smelt or tasted. This is because service itself is an activity. A service, however, can be experienced. A service also gives a certain amount of satisfaction to the consumers. Number two, perishability. A service must be consumed simultaneously with its production. A service cannot be stored like a tangible commodity. Services are perishable in terms of delivery and time. An empty seat on a plane never can be utilized and charged after the departure. Revenue once lost is lost forever. Number 3. Inseparability Commodities once produced can be sold at a later point of time, but in case of services, it is not possible. The service provider is indispensable for service delivery as they must promptly generate and render the service to the requesting service consumer. Therefore, the service provider, the service itself and the service consumers are inseparable. Simultaneity Services are generated and consumed during the same period of time. As soon as the service consumer has requested a service, the particular service must be generated from scratch without any delay. Variability Each service is unique. Services lack homogeneity. No two units of service are identical even if they are generated by the same person. Factors like quality control, standardization, etc., which can be very successfully implemented in the case of production of tangible goods, cannot be applied in case of services. Services always vary with each other. Ownership No ownership is created in case of services. At the time of creating a service or delivering a service, the service provider does not own the services. After the consumption, the consumer has only the experience but the service itself would have become non-existence. A service cannot be owned by anybody because it is basically an intangible product. Advantages and Disadvantages of Service Marketing 
advantages of service marketing. Marketing has become such a great influence, no longer is anything or anyone accepted without it. Established brand recognition. The primary and most important benefit of marketing is brand recognition. Marketing strategies help to imprint a brand in the minds of the customers. This ensures that customers seek a particular brand of a product rather than the brand seeking out of its customers. Gain and retain customers. Once a brand has gained its crown and established its customers, marketing enables it to retain its customers. This is essential so that the brand does not lose ground to products that newly come into the market. Identify real customers. Marketing strategies allow a business to identify potential and actual customers. Instead of trying to force a product or service on unwilling customers, marketing helps to target customers who have the real need. Provide information. Marketing a product is the best way to provide information about it. The salient features of a product or service is what is used to market the product. It is this same information that will attract customers towards the product. Knowing a brand better ensures that customers will come to trust it better. Disadvantages of service marketing Role ambiguity Lack of clarity, certainty and or predictability one might have expected with regards to behavior in a job due to perhaps an ill-defined or ambiguous job description and or uncertain organizational objectives. Role conflict Role conflict involves competing and incompatible demands placed on an employee. This can involve the sometimes contradictory demand of being both a supervisor and a friend, the irreconcilable demands of providing good services while striving to reduce costs, or the difficulties of doing a job which is at odds with one's own value. Organizational conflict the incompatibility in opinions can come into being within a member, between two members, or between groups of the organization. Importance of service marketing Given the intangibility of services, marketing then becomes a particularly challenging and yet extremely important task. A key differentiator Due to the increasing homogeneity in product offerings, the attendant services provided are emerging as key differentiators in the mind of the consumers. Importance of relationships Relationships are a key factor when it comes to the marketing of services. Since the product is intangible, a large part of the customer's buying decision will depend on the degree to which he trusts the seller. Hence, the need to listen to the needs of the customer and fulfill them through the appropriate services offering and building a long-lasting relationship which would lead to repeat sales and positive word of mouth. Customer Retention Given today's highly competitive scenario where multiple providers are vying for a limited pool of customers, retaining customers is even more important than attracting new ones. Since services are usually rendered and consumed at the same time, they actually involve the customer in service delivery process by taking into consideration his requirements and feedback. Thus, they offer greater scope for customization according to customer's requirements, thus offering increased satisfaction leading to higher customer retention. Service Marketing Trends In order to create a strong and sustained position for a service provider within a market, companies try to achieve the long-term growth goals using various types of strategies. These distinctive strategies are used to create specialized appeal for the prospective customers. Service Standardization Service providers such as McDonald's fast food restaurant chain or the Indian chain called Dosa Diner adopt a service standardization strategy. Use of Technology Investment Reliance Industries through the division of Reliance Infocom has invested well over Rs 10,000 crores over the years in the creation of telecommunications infrastructure. Use of Internet-based technologies for success Amazon.com, a bookseller from USA, offers both new and second-hand books in its collection. Use of superior technology for service delivery Federal Express, a Korea company, introduced the concept of overnight parcel delivery within the United States. While the concept itself was new and untested at the time, the service caught on because the business owners could see the utility of an overnight delivery. Use of organic growth some service organizations use organic growth or internal resources to offer greater services to satisfy a higher number of customers. Key Takeaways Marketing of services is a relatively new phenomena in the domain of marketing, having gained an importance as a discipline only towards the end of the 20th century. Services are inherently intangible, are consumed simultaneously at the time of their production, cannot be stored, saved or resold once they have been used. 7 P's of marketing namely product, price, place, promotion, people, process and physical evidence. Today, the services sector is recognized as a crucial field for economic well-being. Consumption of services is deemed essential today. Services are intangible and therefore cannot be touched, handled, smelled or tasted. Services are perishable in terms of delivery and time. 
Commodities once produced can be sold at a later point of time, but in case of services, it is not possible. The primary and most important benefit of marketing is brand recognition. Once a brand has gained its crown and established its customers, marketing enables it to retain its customers. In order to create a strong and sustained position for a service provider within a market, companies try to achieve the long-term growth goals using various types of strategies. Due to the increasing homogeneity in product offerings, the attendant services provided are emerging as key differentiators in the mind of the consumers. Role ambiguity, role conflict and organizational conflict are the disadvantages of service marketing. Knowing a brand better ensures that the customer will come to trust it better. Since services are usually attended and consumed at the same time, they actually involve the customer in service delivery process by taking into consideration his requirements and feedback. Some service organizations use organic growth or internal resources to offer greater services to satisfy a higher number of consumers. Thank you. Cloudflare Incorporated is headquartered in Silicon Valley, California. Our mission is to help enterprises provide an engaging and impactful learning experience that improve business performance. We provide the industry's most modern LMS. For more information, visit us at www.cloudlearn.com or reach out to us at info at